Good morning, everybody. I started a video earlier for all of you, but now I've already had them out in their one pen and back into this pen already this morning, and it's only 7 a.m., but uh, the thing is, is I had to stop the video because I had to do poop patrol because Willow was on her walk with Al, and they ended up having a little bit of uh, poop. Oh, who's a loudmouth, Flashy? Are you my Flash? And then look at Precious Steve. Steve is definitely, I think, the most mellow. But, even, oh, this little, this little pistol there, Diana, gave me a growl this morning. They're all very much a little more vocal. Thank God so far, I don't think they're like Willow and Asher's litter, which was, I had to separate them at five weeks because they were like a fighting ring. But um, like, the only ones that ended up really, well, there were five of them and three of them, Willow, well, two of them, Willow and her sister, really are the only really big handfuls. Asher was pretty mellow, but he just followed suit with Willow, so his siblings together aren't great. But the rest of Willow's litters have been so mellow that I love it. Confident and mellow. But these guys are kind of vocal at me already, I think, and we got some trouble coming. Um, but I'm hoping not. I'm hoping it's just, but I don't know, the love litter had a lot of boys and they were angels. You, are you guys, now this guy is a genius, Rocket, aren't you? I can tell. And little, there's little Mr. Fantastic or Mr. Wonderful as we'll call him. I will if you're over in Wales already. Hope you're having a great time. Um, so anyway, yeah, aren't they gorgeous, you guys? They really are. Every single one of them in this beautiful all white girl with her stockings as someone Paul's it has got one of the most glorious heads, if you can see. Hello, JJ. Hey, J-Law. Hey, Jennifer. Jenny from the block. And then I call Princess Diana. Oh, there's Princess Diana buried. Um, and then where's... Oh, Loki was giving me a real hard time this morning when I was moving him from... Loki, you can growl at me again. But then once you pick them up, they completely stop. They're looking for mom because she just came in. Um, but yeah, I put them into the other pen which I'll actually show you guys in a minute because it's hard to get pictures of them in there. But prior, I think I was getting them out. The first few litters I left always in the whelping pen till they were three months. Then, I don't know, I guess I got gung-ho thinking of like, you should do more for them. And so I put them in too big. I expanded their world, so to speak, a little too soon. And now just because I'm going to Reno, they're not going to get as much out. Now, again, it's going to take me all day today. That's why this video is quick to just write the list that I'm so compulsive about for Al. And my work friends may stop by again. But as far as, thank God, Lexi's coming back and Jace, we've got everybody from here on in. But this weekend, Al's alone with Willie for Reno. And in some ways, I think that is good because really... Willow's taking such incredible job and care of them. And one thing I do know is Al may not be as much going to cuddle the puppies like crazy. Ooh, <laughs> that's why my work friends might come over. But he freaking loves Willow. He totally is. She's his favorite. So he'll pamper her. And I've got, of course, about three million supplements that we give her. Um, right, Willie? To keep you in this good a shape. She just went for her walk again. Daily walk. She just wakes up still and is ready for the walk. I mean, she is truly Wonder Willy and Super Willy. Anyway, I want to show you guys real quick, pardon anything in my house, please, because I am a clean fanatic, but as I always say, you would never know it because it's so hard, especially with me traveling and working and everything. But check this out, you guys. I bought this thing a few years ago. I don't know, it was not even that expensive. Like, probably then it was even only just a little over 100. I think now they're like 150, of course, with the great economy. But anyway, this thing is giving me so much great use but this morning I didn't have the vet fleece down which I also have about a thousand dollars worth of vet fleece but it pays off because this stuff they get such good traction on and it's also very easy to clean that's why I had to stop the video this morning I have different elements in here but what I like about this see is it allows Al to still give them diverse terrain while I'm gone and yet he won't have the whole universe expanded which is a lot more difficult um, and I'm going to just do that Monday. And they're also going to go outside Monday. Uh, they haven't been out, but we've had tons of fresh air in for them. And I might just take them uh, out today if I get a chance, like when I give Willow another bath and stuff. Um, but anyway, there they are, everybody. Just a real quick update. There isn't a bad one in the bunch. So as I tell all of you potential puppy owners, please don't get bonded to any particular uh, gr dogs, girls, boys, whatever. Um, if you have a gender specific, I always honor that, but 
and there's usually a good reason for that. Uh, but they're all, again, there's not a bad one in the bunch, and they all seem just really great. And so temperament-wise, I can't tell yet. Again, I'm definitely hoping I don't get feisty. But when I say feisty, the worst I've ever gotten was Willow, and she's just feisty with other dogs, which I know I could have corrected if I didn't have both her and Asher to play off each other, and also if I didn't, you know, if I took her around a lot more. Like that said, too, with the show, she's great. She does, Willow is a, definitely doesn't start anything, but if anybody even, you know, kind of nudges against her or gives her an eyeball, or unfortunately like the dumb Jack Russell across the street that came in through the fence then it's a different story and that's to be expected of a lot of these dogs and terrors but i will say and people criticize me this some people some people that i would say are idiots but they criticize that i'm trying to breed away from that because fighting dogs have been outlawed for hundreds of years thank god so why should we breed that kind of temperament i do want to breed a dog that's actually good with other dogs because as a species i believe dogs love other dogs and by the way willie you've gotten so much she's gotten almost angelic she's way more chill letting i haven't really brought daisy in when willow's right here yet but she lets her walk through the kitchen she is very different with Daisy. I think she clearly knows Daisy's still her puppy, which is awesome. So anyway, I gotta go. You guys have like 300 million things and I can't even believe I'm going to the show. But like I say, I am trying to keep Asher going and uh, that'll be a good chance for me to talk to a potential puppy owner as well. All right, see you later, everybody. Have a great day. Look at Mr. Fantastic climbing like crazy.